Okay, so. Everybody's been wanting to know a bunch of stuff about this. So, I'm going to finally reveal the secret. Okay. So, how you put a Zukov stock on an SDS Lynx 12 or a Sega or Saga, whatever you want to call them. Alright. So, here is the big secret. Is everybody ready? Hold on, I gotta put this down a second. I know it's bad editing and everything, but it's on my phone. Okay. So. Okay. The slid off. Here's that plate. I was saying you need to, to fabricate. There's two bolts right there. And you gotta grind those bolts down. In order for the Zukov handguard to slide over it. And then this is the original piece. But I grinded those down. Which you don't have to. You can leave those. And then all you have to do is drill a hole right there. Where the original handguard for the uh, SDS Lynx 12 came with. Just put the handguard... Excuse me. Over this one, line the hole up and just drill it. That's all you gotta do. And then I, uh, I got the STN Tactical muzzle brake on here. Works good, but it looks cool. That's the real main reason. And then I've been looking at the comments tonight, and. To put the MOE grip on it, you have to drill a hole basically where the O is on the pistol grip in order to get the original bolt to work because the MOE grip bolt will not fit. So that's how you got to do it. Just drill it right where the O is and then it works fine. It hasn't fell off yet. It's still, still tight. <clears throat> And then I drilled the holes in the top with a dust cover, and I put a just a bushnell um, red dot on it, which they work fine. I have one on my AK that's in the safe right there. I think it's nasty. Oh, that's my go-to Mac 90, baby. Oh yeah. But uh, just took a plastic one. Just drilled holes in the cover and just bolted it down because you know I figured since I had to cut this bigger uh, in that one video to see if the shells were hitting on the uh, dust cover you know, I cut it and I just painted it so I only probably cut I don't know half inch off of it maybe not even that but I mean it works now and uh <clears throat> For the other question about if you could shoot it while it's closed, I haven't done it yet. Or hold on. Haven't done it yet, but I mean I don't see why not. See, I mean it it clears it, so it'd shoot. It might rub a little bit right there on the top of the stock, but with the amount of force that going back and forth you should be all right if you're using like buckshot i mean if shit goes bad and you gotta shoot somebody with buckshot or slug that's coming in your house that's powerful enough it's gonna it's gonna cycle no matter what and the other question is do you have to modify the back of the stock or the receiver of the gun to put the zukov stock in no it's the same thing as the ak it's got the tang just like yeah, it's got the tang right there. Just like every AK. And you just put it in there like that. And it screws down like normal. And then, you know. So, yeah. Sorry it took so long to make this video. But working, and kid, and, you know, normal bullshit. You know. But, yeah, that's all you gotta do to put it on there. Not very hard.
you have to cut the let me get the lighting better 